Hi and welcome to Silver Reviews. Today we're reviewing The Island of El Dorado. Have you guys heard of this game? I haven't heard about it either until one day I went to the store and then I saw this on the shelf. And I, I thought to myself, oh is that like the movie El Dorado? Um, but no, it's like the road to El Dorado, but no it wasn't. There's a board game that has been a lot of fun, especially during this quarantine time, to be able to play with my wife and my family members. And honestly, it's one of them. It's a strategy game that is not too overwhelming to learn. You can pick it up really fast and have a lot of great fun. The game basically takes place in the late 18, 1500s and is during the time of exploration and discovery. And you take the role of an explorer who has heard that there is gold and these shrines of great power. So you take the role of an explorer, for example, you could be uh, Pedro the Conquistador, and what you do is that you go with your armies, you go with different soldiers, and you discover this island. You find shrines, you can battle bandits or other monsters throughout the island, and you also have to compete with the other uh, explorers. They really, really took dedication to make this board game something that it will last you and something that you can keep for a long time so this box is awesome it has a little magnetic um, cover and you open it up you can see this great detail that they put into making sure there's a place that you can hold all your pieces the shrines that you discover are as such little pyramids and yeah, it's just awesome. It's like a little metal pyramid. Um, you play with all these different dice, and it's just really cool. I, I really enjoy the fact that they just made. It took some time to really make this board game a cool thing. So, a little. I actually want to show how this game kind of works. So, the way the game basically plays is simple. All the players start in in the beginning, landing in the island, and then you roll your dice. One of your dice, is, you, ch you get to choose which dice you want to be, how much you collect of resources, and the other one, your movement. So, let's say I collect one resource because I just landed, there's not much here, and I decide to move and explore the island, so I choose three. So as I'm going to explore the island, oh, there's water on that end, so I can move to the water, but I can keep going and looking for more. Um, there's a jungle, so that's my second move, and my third move. Ah, uh, there we go. So I have just discovered a relic or a little pyramid, a shrine. And here, I'll, it's, the main point is that I want to find and be able to take control of all the shrines. Uh, the first player to basically do that wins. They take control of the island. So really simple. There's more details that you can look up online or um, if, you ever if you guys ever want me to go in more in depth, but it's just a really fun game. Honestly, it's a mixture between a simple, simple game and one of the more complicated strategy games. It's just in the middle, the perfect spot to be. But I recommend everybody to go and get this. Uh, I was able to get it for, uh, it was on sale, so I was able to get it a little cheaper, but it's a great investment and I really enjoyed it. I would give this game an eight out of 10. It was just so good. And I'm, I'm gonna get an expansion for it, so I'll have to review that as well and, and see how I like it and if it's great. I might make a longer video later, just expanding more and explaining more on how this game works. I just wanted to introduce it. Uh, this is my first review video, so I just kind of wanted to uh, put my feet in the water, you know. But if you guys want to hear more about this, or if there's other games you want me to play and review, I would love to do that. Please let me know in the comment section, and you guys have a great day.